Um, Alright guys, basically today I'm just going to show you how to actually um, download Backtrack and how to put it onto a live CD so you can um, get Backtrack up and running. And uh, for those of you who don't actually know what Backtrack is, Backtrack is basically it's a Linux distro. Um, it was created for security professionals and it's used by penetration testers today. It's the best distribution for penetration testing um, because it's got a whole wide range of tools. It's got things like um, what's it? You've got password crackers, port scanners. I mean, you've got web application vulnerabilities. You've got exploits. You've got everything in there. So um, yeah, backtracks. Um, you know, backtracks really good. <laughs> and um, so I'm just going to be showing you how to actually download it and um, get it up and running onto a live CD. So if you just follow along, and um, we'll we'll go from here. So now. So if you just go to your local web browser, I'm using SWSR where iron. Okay, so if you just go to Google and if you just type in backtrack in the search box, B A if I can type properly, um B A C Once you've typed that in, click on the first link which is Backtrack Linux, um that's the website. Just let it load and after you've done that, uh, here's a bit of information about backtrack. Um I already told you what backtrack is, so we don't really need to look at that. Just go towards the downloads, which is located on the top, the navigation bar. And then what you're looking for here is you're looking for the ISO. As we can see, there's a huge selection of different downloads available. But you've got things like VMware, and you've got, um, you've got other USB editions, but we're just looking for the ISO, and we're looking for the latest version as well, which is R2, backtrack for R2, which is here. So anyways, um, you can download using the FTP link right there or you can use the torrent. Now I use the torrent because um, it turned out to be a bit faster for me. The FTP link was quite slow so um, yeah I use the torrent so I want you to download this and uh, once you've downloaded it then um, just return back to the video and we'll go from there. Okay at this stage um, hopefully you should have the ISO downloaded. Now what we want to do with the ISO is um, we want to burn it as an image onto a disk, therefore creating the live CD. Now, you've probably already got an image burning software. Um, I have, and I'm using this one, which I've, I have good success rate with at the highest image, at the highest speed when burning. It's called Image Burn, IMG Burn. Um, you can Google it. You can download it for free, and um, you've got diff you've got a few different options here. Now, uh, mine's uh, we're going to select. Right image file to disk. Okay. Now what you should have already, if you haven't done this, or if you have already, you should have a spare DVD, blank DVD that you can actually burn backtrack onto. Now I've got one inserted, hence the reason why is, um, this isn't greyed out. If you don't have one inserted, this this section here would be greyed out. Okay. Now at source, we have to select the file that we want to burn, which is obviously the backtrack. So if I just go to desktop and I select BTR2 okay um, and then after that my write speed here is set, I'm gonna set to maximum um, generally if you have problems burning images or if you have had problems in the past I would recommend that you load the speed down to maybe 4 to 6x okay um, I'm gonna select max because I never have this problem okay and I'm gonna click burn and as you can see it's buffering and um, it should start burning. Now, um, this should take 5 to 10 minutes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pause this video again and um, I'll start again as soon as it's finished burning and we'll go from there. Okay, once you've actually um, finished burning, then what you want to do is where you want to um, can make sure the disk is still in the computer, um, it's still in the disk tray. You want to keep it inside the um, the drive and you want to restart your computer <coughs> when you restart your computer it's uh, you have to actually enter the boot menu to actually boot from the disk okay now there's a lot of different keys it depends what machine you're using it might be f2 f11 f12 f10 okay you're just gonna have to um, find out normally when you start up the computer the first screen normally towards the bottom or somewhere it will tell you press F11 or F2 or whatever to enter the boot menu. So you want to look for this key, you want to keep tapping it until you have a selection of different um, drives you are able to boot from. 
uh, you want to select obviously the DVD boot to the DVD drive and once you do that you should start booting into Backtrack and I'm going to show you, I'm going to do that now and I'm going to show you um, what you're going to start seeing, okay? Okay, so once you've actually booted into Backtrack um, you should actually be at this screen now and here you want to select Start Backtrack Frame Buffer 1024 times 768 and just hit enter. Okay, now what Backtrack's going to start doing, it's going to start loading. Okay. So we'll just wait for it to load. If you actually look at the bottom, it says the quieter you become, the more you are able to hear. It's a great saying. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's just something that, you know, it's very true. Anyways, let's just wait for this to load. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere now. This bit just requires a bit of patience, so some of you might load it faster, um, others may not. Okay, that's it, we're in. Okay. Now, one thing, just to take into account, one thing actually important, um, as you're booting this up, you might actually, right now it's basically blinking, right now I can start the GUI interface, but you might be prompted, it might be already asking you to enter the username and password. So I'll just quickly, for those who have to enter the username or password, uh, that's the um, username, R -O -O T, <coughs> and then T -O -O R is the password. Okay, I don't, okay. Once you've done that, once you've actually entered the username and password, uh, you will be at, at this screen. So it's actually, I'm already logged in, it says root at uh, backtrack. Okay, so to start the GUI interface, I just type in start x and hit enter. Okay, so, so that starts up the GUI interface. As you can see, initializing system services, peripherals, desktop. Okay, so we're in. Um, okay, so this is backtrack. Um, next tutorial, I might show you how to actually install it onto the hard drive. This is the reason why I installed the SHCR. I'm going to quickly show you a few things with Backtrack. Here's all the different um, tools that Backtrack has: information gathering, network mapping, vulnerability. You've got you've just got so much there. Um, and yeah, this is Backtrack basically up and running. Okay, so in the next few tutorials, I'm just gonna I'll, I'll take you around Backtrack and show you a few more things. But that's it. We've basically covered this tutorial. Um, Hope you've enjoyed that, and um, if you've got any questions, if you have any problems, um, then do feel free to visit the forums. The forums are pcb0x.net, okay? Um, I'll put a link in the description. You can go over there. I'm there most of the time. Just post a comment if you've got any problems or anything. Um, be sure to subscribe for the upcoming videos that I'll be posting, okay? Apart from that, um, have a nice day, and yeah, bye-bye.